It was absolutely heartbreaking when the, when the verdicts came in. They got it wrong, and they got it wrong because the truth wasn't allowed into the trial. It was a very, very sad experience. The brothers, Eric and Lyle, showed very little emotion as the verdicts were read. Guilty of first-degree murder with special circumstances in the shotgun deaths of their parents, Jose and Kitty Menendez. The brothers could face the death penalty. It was as everyone expected. Judge Stanley Weisberg sentenced Lyle and Eric Menendez to life in prison, no chance of parole. Obvious that they had situations going on in that family that were out of the norm. I can't be angry with a jury that follows the instructions that they're given. The reality of what it meant was that never, ever would either of them ever have a life. And since they never had one, it doesn't seem fair in a, in a kind of moral sense. I had the TV on, and I was watching, waiting. I completely fell apart. It was, a, it was absolutely heartbreaking. I thought it was so harsh that they got life without the possibility of parole. I don't think they'd ever come out of jail and hurt a fly for the rest of their life. Honestly, I don't think they have that in them. I didn't think that the verdict would be life in prison without the possibility of parole. That was crushing. There were no winners. Everybody lost. And it was a very painful, tragic time for my entire family. I have never given up hope. And I will not give up hope. The verdict was wrong. And it was wrong because the jury didn't have all the information. The love that we received from my family was really a major, major emotional support. My, my dad's mother, my grandmother, called her mama. There was no more supportive member of my entire family than that mom. Always visiting me, always visiting while I'm always there, uh, loving us. And so the hardest part about seeing the media storm was witnessing how my actions affected my family. They were extremely private. We were now thrust into this public's carnival and I was responsible for that. I was putting together a list of people that were negatively affected and impacted by my acts. I spoke to Eric at one point, and I said to him, uh, do you have any regrets now? And he said, yes, I have regrets. I regret that I didn't kill myself instead of my parents. I've talked to Leslie Abramson in recent times about the case. She will not talk about it. It is such a thorn in her heart that she lost it. I think they all feel a sense of failure, that they couldn't win a case that they believed in so strongly. Just about everyone involved with this case left it almost feeling like they were cursed or something. Pam Bazanich, she was absolutely serious when she said she'd rather eat ground glass than ever be involved in this case again. Lester Kuriyama, he didn't ever really want to talk about it again either. I'm absolutely haunted. It changed my life in a really negative way. It's absolutely guilt that I didn't pick up on it and that I didn't save them. Couldn't get over it. It was hard for me to accept the fact that they were being sexually abused because that's out of my realm of experience. Now that I'm older and I know the statistics on, on what percentage of children are abused, I believe it. At that time, I was too naive to even expect it.